Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Mammographic and ultrasound images are presented. Mammography reveals a dense mass inferiorly in the right breast. Ultrasound demonstrates a hypoechoic mass with irregular borders. Your differential diagnosis should include invasive ductal carcinoma, which is by far the most common. The differential diagnosis can also include infiltrating lobular carcinoma, sclerosing adenosis, and tubular carcinoma. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. The mammographic image presented here reveals a well-defined mass, and the ultrasound image demonstrates an oval circumscribed hypoechoic mass, which is wider than it is tall. Your differential diagnosis should include fibroadenoma, and this is a typical appearance here, but you can also include lactating adenoma, tubular adenoma, thyloides tumor, and invasive ductal carcinoma. Now pause your media player. This breast MR image reveals linear low signal in the implant on the left and similar findings on the right with heterogeneous signal material anterior to the capsule on the right. The diagnosis is intracapsular implant rupture on the left as well as extracapsular rupture on the right. There is really no differential diagnosis here. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Mammography reveals a focal asymmetry in the upper outer quadrant, which is much better seen on the MLO projection than the CC projection. No corresponding ultrasound abnormality is noted. Differential diagnosis should include invasive lobular carcinoma, which typically is better seen on one view than the other. The differential diagnosis list here is vast for this mammographic appearance, however. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Mammography reveals a cluster of microcalcifications, some with linear branching morphology. The differential diagnosis includes DCIS, and the linear branching pattern is suspicious for this. Again, the differential is very long here. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. The mammogram reveals axillary adenopathy. Ultrasound confirms this. The breast MR image reveals peripherally enhancing axillary adenopathy 
and enhancing nodules anteriorly in the breast. The differential diagnosis here includes invasive ductal carcinoma with axillary lymph node metastases. Other diagnoses would be much less likely, but any cause of adenopathy, including infections, lymphoma, etc., could be included. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. This ductogram, also known as a galactogram, reveals a filling defect in the ductal system. The differential diagnosis includes intraductal papilloma, ductal carcinoma in situ, invasive ductal carcinoma, and papillary carcinoma.